probably the most challenging to put together on the album and even though it's in a little bit different style it's still in that patriotic theme honoring the U.S. military and the title Third Eye uh, comes from some of you may have heard this it's your gut intuition and you've seen it sometimes on statues there'll be an eye here or uh, some kind of photos you've seen and how funny I chose this to wear today. Unplanned, oh, wow. unplanned that I yeah. grabbed this and I was like, oh my God, we're doing something on third eye today. Yeah, third eye is the eye of the wisdom. So, and it's the, the image that the comparison analogy is the third eye of the military that uh, protect us. So it's the, we have two eyes and the third eye is the military that watch over us constantly. So. Uh, Tracy comes from a military uh, uh, family. Yep. I have Air Force, and in my family too, I have an uncle that just passed away that is uh, Air Force. He was also a career Air, man, Air 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 man Air and my cousin yep. and Tidy, that is uh, that is in, was in Air Force too. Mm -hmm. But uh, the song by itself was very difficult to put together. It's an electro Billy song, and that style with those 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 beats and. The beginning right up, we, we, we wanted to do this sound effect. On, on this yeah, it's one. almost like an experience rather than just a song. Because there's a lot of different elements to it. Like the, like the very beginning, the intro, yeah, the sound definitely. design. And then the, 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 the intro where the music comes, there is this, this pure gypsy really. It took me a long while to find the right melody. And we did the clarinet together. It was a lot. Of, we wanted to do something very specific. And it's very mixed of those triplets in rockabilly and that. And then this gypsy uh, licks, but uh, that one with the kinet, it's awesome. Then came the uh, the vocal that, that, that yeah, because I love forties. Yeah. I wanted to, and music back then was so important during World War Two. Oh yeah, and I love it. My mother being a you know a big band and small jazz combo, and she did sing in, in women trios too. So I wanted to do some kind of Andrew Sisters type vibe. So I did those harmonies as an intro, you know, after the, the instrumental intro and then the vocal Andrew Sisters thing kind of comes in. So. Yeah, because uh, you, you can tell uh, that the Andrew Sisters uh, definitely uh, entertain the troops. Oh, you see during, them all the time. All and the outfits time, yes. And they're saluting. They salute in black yeah. and white pictures. It was wonderful. So, and that, and then the song by itself is uh, the groove. You know, it's a nice groove. Uh, it's definitely a song that is well put together, um, and then and then the theme change in the middle a little bit for the interlude because we don't want to repeat the the introduction mm -hmm. introduction to that, and then classic verse and chorus of course, but uh, then after that we 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 wanted to put the um, the yeah, we wanted waking to, up what what you oh, used that, to yeah the da -da -da -da. yeah I like to honor the uh, the wake up for people who don't know when the trumpet would wake. Up, uh, people in the military at sunrise. Yeah. So there's like an an homage to that in there too, with that uh, snare, just a snare and a and a trumpet sound. That's a fair, yeah. And then we did another twist. So after that, you you'll hear it. Then there's the gypsy guitar that comes in, and then just and then it starts this kind of like counterpoints of of many instruments, mm -hmm. kind of like the New Orleans. Yeah. They do that in New Orleans. Uh, jazz band, right? Well, you yeah, because each part is a solo. Each person is their own solo. So that's what we had in mind when we came up with this, is that each part could in and of itself be a solo. So we took that, but in addition to that, wanted to make it sound like a round as well. You know, this one start, then that one. You remember when you were a little kid, around, you know, in kindergarten, you'd sing whatever whatever song you would sing and then this person would start and then a couple bars later the next person and so on so that's kind of what we wanted to create and then at the end of it everybody comes together and ends on the same note yeah, if you listen to traditional so, the, like the preservation jazz all um 
uh, you can hear that the uh, clarinet goes with, the, with this, and, but, but we, we just took the full instrument that makes basically gypsy basically which is the, uh, except we didn't put the violin, we put the trumpet because of, of course yeah. of the uh, military, but uh, the fugue on, whatever they call it. But um, yeah, it's that. And then after that, there's a crazy guitar solo. That was the, one of the hardest one with this, this, this effect that makes them deeper and it's deep because, you know, military is so important and, you know, I've, I, I wrote that, you know, in a, in a, the sound came from the submarine. I wanted something yeah. that doubled it, you know, you're on the surface of the top and then the bottom, there's still the, the ships and then the, uh, the submarine and they're protecting on the bottom, protecting in the air. The air, so I wanted to do that kind of a effect with those well, almost uh, like watery yeah, sound. Yeah, the, the, and then yeah, it's so the three awesome. level. That's why. Yeah. So that's why it's got those octave in the guitar. But that that's so that crazy solo, man. And take a take take a lesson. It's very crazy. And then, and then we came back to uh, to the vocal after that. Huh? Yeah, and, and then um, we you finish. know the the outro is uh, also pretty. It, it ends with that Andrew sisters thing again. And then uh, left, right, left, you know, with military foot marches. So. I, I would say that that song is kind of like a classical piece because he has different movement. Of course, it, but it's electrobilly, but it still gets so many parts that we had to put together. Uh, it's so it's very challenging, but great song. Proud of it. Definitely for the film, number one, and number yeah. two, for the, the music by itself. You can dance on it. Well, and you can... it's, it's a topic that's very near and dear to my yes. heart is the U.S. military because my dad was a career man and very strict, but he created a lot of discipline in his kids. So I'm thankful for that and many, many other things. Yeah. And, and then, you know, one of our dreams is to do USL2 one day. And it's not yeah. as difficult to get him, but it would be fantastic. I'm telling you, one of those songs would be... Like... Actually, um, there's going to be a review of that song that's going to come up uh, on detail uh, with, in August in August I think yes it's gonna come out and so uh, I'll be on the lookout in our in our uh, website mm -hmm. and yeah. also a video we have a lyric video yes. coming out with that so you'll be able to read about the lyrics that, you that, know, as the song is playing so but uh, uh, we're so proud of that song it's just a great song and very uh, hold on to that fabulous yeah, um, idea that we had. And I wasn't not... going to let it go. No, you know? it has it just make it happen? And that's this is the end result. I'm I'm very happy with the result. And if anybody out there has anybody in the USO that you know, we're on board. So yeah. just give us a call. We'll pack our stuff in and, two minutes. And as well, you know, share it. And it's repaying gratitude to our veterans, repaying our gratitude to our military. And um, you know, we just want to thank you for doing that. And I listen to Ferrari.